Well, tonight, Woodbury County Supervisors saying the public and not the board will decide if Supervisor Jeremy Taylor is removed from that county board. Taylor's wife, Kim, last month was found guilty on 52 federal election fraud charges, elections that included Jeremy Taylor on the ballot. At least three supervisors have called for Taylor to resign, but again today he reiterated that he has no plans to do that. Last week, County Auditor Pat Gill brought a resolution before the board asking that it request an investigation by the state attorney general concerning Taylor's involvement in his wife's voting fraud case, with the case possibly leading to his removal. But today, Supervisor Chairman Matthew Ong and two other members indicated the board won't act on that resolution. Supervisor Dan Bittinger expressed several concerns about Gill's resolution, adding it would set a dangerous precedent more than five people in the room that uh, have, have would like to see um, Supervisor Taylor removed, so thus it's, it's on you to be able to petition your own government. The elf in the room is that you can, I think this is a political move by the auditor. I think it's well known, the animosity between the two parties, and thus I think, too, it's, it's more of a political move. Um, and once I agree, we don't need to endorse that. Uh, Supervisor... Auditor Gill addressed the board, explaining why he brought the resolution forward, also saying that he didn't know what Bittinger's comment about animosity was all about. Meanwhile, Board Chairman Matthew Ong said he's concerned the issue will become a distraction for the board, adding that the issue has already become a national story. Well, by choosing to remain on the county board, Mr. Taylor is, is bringing distraction upon uh, the work of county government. As you saw today, almost the whole meeting was about him. And everyone attending, most people attending, were here, here to see if he would say anything and, and address uh, uh, the elf in the room. It's a sad situation, and it's something that the board shouldn't have to get in, shouldn't have to get into, but we're forced into it by uh, the position that he's in. So on a five to nothing vote, supervisors did accept Supervisor Taylor's resignation as vice chair of the board and on a unanimous vote named Mark Nelson as his replacement through the end of this year. The list of those seeking Taylor's removal is growing. Union representatives for local sheriff's deputies and Labor Works both expressed disappointment in Taylor's resistance to stepping down, saying they no longer support Taylor. Jeremy Taylor did address the board in a written statement saying in part, quote, I am appreciative of the process that is in the hands of the people as it always should be. Not the auditor or the board majority, though I do respect each one of your opinions. To read the rest of Supervisor Taylor's full statement, you can look for this story at SiouxLandProud.com.